Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So if you're new here, my name's Nicole. If you're not, welcome back. So as you can tell by the title, I have an In The Style swim haul. I think I've only done one of these on my channel a good few years ago, but I went on there and saw that they have some nice swimwear, so I thought, let's try it. For those who don't know, In The Style does a lot of collabs with influencers. I don't really normally buy from this brand. I'm not really a big fan of like buying from influencers. Yeah, I made an order. It came today and yeah, I have one complaint already. Why did they feel the need to send me my package in four different parcels? Already that's like a complete waste. I think I've bought from two different influencer collaborations. So I'll try and bunch them off into the separate two basically. Okay, we're not off to the best start, but I'm gonna start off with um, some pieces that I picked from the Karis Whitaker collection, is that how you say her name? I do actually follow her on Instagram, I've followed her for many years. Um, the only thing I will say is, just because I follow her and she's the one that's done the most collections, do these influencers really design these from scratch? Because I don't really see it happening. Sometimes she's coming out with collections like every month, every few months or whatever it feels like that anyway, but are they really designing these from scratch and having much input or do in the style just kind of design and maybe just tell them? or give them a couple options. But anyways, this collection is supposed to be good for bigger busted people and she did say like curvy, but I will say I feel like it's more towards bigger busted people. So this is a fuller bust control brown twist detail. I got it in a size 16, it was 36 pounds. Now I will say, kind of feels a little bit pricey for the swimsuit. Size 16 is so bloody tight on the bottom half. I will say like for the top if I come a bit closer, the top is actually really nice, like I can't fault the top. There's no removable padding, it is double lined. Like it does feel nice, it does look nice, it does actually look quite nice quality, like I, you know, I will give her that. Um, you've got the little detail there. Obviously I don't have big boobs, but they're in, there's not really much cleavage. I feel like they're kind of well supported to be fair. But the only thing is, it's so tight here. Like, I definitely need like an 18 on the bottom. So I don't know whether it's true to size or not, but apparently she wears a 16. So maybe I should have sized up because she is a bit more like slimmer than me. But yeah, like, I won't lie. This is nice overall. I feel like it's actually giving okay stomach compression. I definitely would need to just maybe size up for a bit more comfort here. Um, as you can see, the back does have a clasp so you can alter it. And then it does have adjustable straps. And this one is obviously more coverage on the bottom. So yeah, overall it's not bad. Sizing is probably a little bit off, but I think she did mention that and I think there's a proper sizing guide. I just basically went off of what I thought I would pee. It doesn't actually, considering it's quite tight, it actually comes to a flattering part on me. Sometimes it comes too high up that I get like the little muffin top kind of thing. So yeah, pleasantly surprised by it. Just be a bit wary of sizing. Okay, so next up we have the Fuller Bust Brown Zebra. Uh, halter bikini top size 16 at 20 pounds then we have the bottoms in a size 18 18 pounds i will say the bottoms are definitely lacking stretch there is not much stretch in these swimwear pieces so far i'll start off with the top so i do actually really like the print i think it's nice i think it's cute i will say it does feel like a little bit big for me i probably could have got away with a 14 potentially it does have like sort of a stretchy strap that is tight. So again, I don't know if it's supposed to be tight because they want more support for the bigger busted women, but the sizing is not accurate at all in my opinion. Um, so I feel like that is something that they need to work on. But again, this would probably give you nice coverage. It'd give you nice cleavage if you had bigger boobs. As you can see, it is halter neck. And I'll show you guys while I'm here. The bottoms again are Full of coverage. Um, you could probably make them a little bit cheekier if you wanted to. Yeah, again, they're just so tight, like, round this area. I don't know what's going on. I'm not sure if I really like the style of the bottoms. I'm not sure how I feel. Like, they're not too bad, but it's just, they're tight. Um, and I'll say that the pieces, again, they're okay made. These, This one feels a little bit like cheaper quality I would say um, and it isn't like double lined you don't have removable padding or anything like that but overall I really like the style and the print I just think yeah just a bit tight to be honest overall right I'm not even gonna go into this one too much because honestly I hate it so again this is the filler bust orange halter neck size 16 20 pounds and the bottoms were 16 and they are size 18 right first of all the top is way too big on me but I know this collection obviously was for, for bigger busted people but yeah, this is just not doing it for me. It is nice and roomy. Um, you can alter the back straps and the halter straps. Um, you could probably wear it a bit differently if you wanted to. Bottom 
arms, I feel like I'm wearing a, a nappy. Like, they're so big. They're just like massive granny bangers. Yeah, I just don't like this swimsuit at all. It's not flattering. It's not me. It digs in. It's just not true to size at all. I mean, this probably could look nice on other people, but personally for me, it's probably like one of the worst swimsuits I've ever tried on. That's what the battle looks like. Full coverage again. You've got the adjustable straps. Okay, so moving on to... Oh, I've actually got another two different influencers. So this is the Billy Fairs green textured crinkle top, a size 18. And then the bottoms I got in a size 18 as well. The bottoms were £11 in the sale and the top was £13. So I obviously love this colour. That's no no brainer. Um, I thought we actually might have had a bit of a winner with this one. The top is so cute. It's such a nice green. It is actually a bit darker in person. So you've got um, the little detail there. It is padded. I don't know if it's super flattened with this armpit fat here. But anyway, the straps are adjustable. And then the bottoms, I feel like, I think it's just because I wanted them to be a bit more high-waisted and not kind of like pinch my fat here. So I feel like had they not been tight with this seam bit, these this would probably be like a winner. So we're kind of nearly there, but not quite. Again, it is a nice material. It's kind of like thick. It is well made. But again, the sizing is just a little bit off. Like I'm not a size 18 normally. So it just kind of shows me that it's a bit off even the size 18 being a bit tight. That's what the back looks like. You've got full band thing, no adjustable clasps or anything. And then the back is full coverage. Overall, not bad. Again, if you're buying it in a sale, they're probably worth snapping them in a sale. I don't think like they're worth the prices they put them as originally but I know there's a lot of talk about things like that in the style has ridiculous prices to be honest I'm not gonna lie okay so this is the last one from the Billy collection again this one was in the sale so the bottoms were 11 pound size 18 and then the top is a size 16 and is 14 pounds so again I picked it up obviously for the color the print and the style the top actually feels quite big for a 16 you know which is shocking that I'm even saying that um, but yeah you will have a nice amount of cleavage on show there's no removable padding we've got the cute little frill detailing the straps are adjustable and then we do have a clasp but you can only just you know do the one bit the back is full coverage you could probably make it slightly cheekier but I don't think it would look that great. Now these bottoms actually fit quite nice because they're not tight. So I will say this one is very stretchy. Um, it is a nice like silky material. Like it's very comfortable on the skin. It kind of doesn't feel like you're wearing anything. A lot of like tummy coverage. So if you're conscious of like stretch marks or your stomach, these are great. Comes up to a nice point on me. I feel like it's quite flattering because this isn't digging in. It's not tight. So yeah, overall it's quite nice. So definitely more worth the sale price. Like I probably would not have paid full price for this. So the last one we have is from Perry Sean. So I got the top in an 18. It's the abstract print bandeau top. That was 18 pounds. And the bottoms, the high leg bikini bottoms, size 18 at 16 pounds. And I think this might have been in the sale. Guys, I'm glad I got an 18 in this top. This top your titties aren't safe, I'm just telling you that now. I feel like if I'm walking, moving, that is going to eventually slip. This is such a silky, satiny type material. It doesn't feel like it's going to stay. Also, it is very small, so I feel like if you're part of the itty bitty titty gang, or have smaller boobs, or sort of my size, you might be okay with this, but I don't feel safe. I genuinely feel like this is going to fall down. But this print is stunning. Like this is definitely my favorite print by far. I'm not sure if she's got other style tops in this. So definitely don't get this top unless you don't really mind or you're only just sunbathing. She had a swimsuit as well. So if you like this print, then maybe snap something else up. But this print is really nice. Like I do love the colors. This style is nice and it looked nice on her. Obviously she's slimmer. I think she had smaller boobs. So it worked. The top is not safe on me. And I don't know if I quite like if I don't feel like it's flattering to be fair, the top on me. Bottoms again for a size 18. We're running on the smaller side. They are a little bit tight around this bit again. I can wear them high waisted. They're full coverage. Kind of okay compression on the stomach. They are like double lined. Again, it's a silky soft material. You can see the back just has the one at tie. Um, and then they are full of coverage again. So overall, I do really like the print i don't mind the bottoms they're not unflattering on me um they are obviously more full coverage and not as true to size this top i definitely would prefer a different style top 
um, but they have a swimsuit that I can remember. They were all the pieces I picked up. I don't really often buy from In The Style as I said because I don't find the quality that amazing, especially for the price um, and I don't really buy into all this influencer collaboration stuff, um, especially if they're not like kind of designed by scratch themselves. Like they probably have some input but they're not doing it from like start to finish. Like I'm just not buying that. Unless you can show me the proof then feel free. One thing I will say is that they do have a large size range which is great but if it's not true to size then what's the point in having a large size range? And at least they do work with different influencers of different sizes for different things like curvy, bigger busted, petite, tall like they do cater to all of that but again if size is off what is really the point i will leave them all linked down below if you want to check any of them out i will say that the last three are definitely the top picks let me know in the comments below which was your favorite one so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you never miss an upload and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys